and welcome back to your 3ds Max tutorials. So I'm going to show you how to create a curtain with some nice folds and creases and we're going to use the cloth modifier to do so. So let's start by creating a plane in our front viewport, something like so. And let's give it about 42 by 42 segments. You'll see why now in a second. Well, let's convert this to an editable poly. We're going to select our edge and we're going to select our top two edges on the plane and to deselect the edges that we don't want just simply hold down alt and swipe through the edges that you don't wish to uh, select okay so if we drop down your uh, your full ribbon display now we can instead of manually uh, running along here and selecting every second every second group i want to select i want to select two and skip two all the way along the top uh, surface of this plane. So if we go to modify selection, let me zoom in here so you can see. So modify selection and dot gap I'm gonna set to three. And then here we have the dot loop. So see, as you can see, it selects loops with gaps and we're gonna have to select, selecting the gap to three. So let's go and see how that looks. So it's gonna select, it's gonna skip two and it land on the third. That's fantastic. So, if we hold down W, or press W to move, and hold down Shift, and sorry about that, I clicked off it. So we're gonna hold down Shift, and drag them up, something like so. And if we press L, that'll toggle to our left viewport. And I'm going to hold down shift once more and I'm going to select a little uh, yellow box inside and let's just drag this off at a bit of an angle and let go and bring it over again once more straight back something like that and back in again okay so now you can see we have this nice uh, folding or, or looping um, fabric and if we press F once more in our in our top viewport then we can go back to our front Okay, let's press L, zoom in on this section, and we're going to create a cylinder that lives within that space. Something like so. And any size at all will do for now. Let's go back into our perspective viewport and let's move this to the end. Something like that. And now we can resize that on our x-axis. Something like that will do. Okay. Now, so let's go to our cloth and let's add a cloth modifier. Object properties. Select our plane. And we're going to select cloth, and as a preset, this time we're going to use cotton. Cotton works well for a draping curtain. And we're going to add an object. This is going to be a collision object. So we'll add our cylinder. Click on cylinder, collision object, and OK. So I'm going to remove the grid for this, from this view. Now, I'm going to go back up to the top view. And if we again drop down our, our cloth modifier and select uh, select group, and then we can make a group. So we're just going to select all of the top surface, the top section, sorry, um, of the uh, of the plane. We're going to make a group from those points. I'm just going to call it rail. And as you can see here, it says rail and it's unassigned. So we're going to actually assign it to a surface. I'm going to assign it to the surface of the cylinder. So we assign it to that surface. And we'll select the surface that we want it to be assigned to. So now you can see the surface to cylinder. Okay, so that's great. So now what we can do is we can select, we can set auto key. Let's go back into our cloud parameters. So auto key and let's set the first stage. Let's move it to the end. 
and what we can do is we can select our rail and let's resize that back down again to about there looks about good looks pretty good and we can set the key there once more and what we can do is then bring this back to the beginning as you can see the rail is actually shrinking and then what we can do is we can simulate simulate this entire entire uh, material so I need to erase this simulation for a second I need to cancel it and erase it I skip the step so we can see here in our self collision we want to set that to 2 and in our centimeters per unit let's set that to 3 and now let's simulate and see how that works so as you can see it's the cylindrical uh, tube is pulling or shrinking and it's actually pulling the cloth with it until it reaches um, 100 frames and then it's going to stop and because we have set the self collision we're going to avoid any overlapping or, or interlocking um, surfaces of the of the plane we can turn off auto key and as we can see then we have this nice draping uh, draping cloth and um, that's that's hung by the curtain rail on top and what we can go ahead and do is then we can actually take our um, our animation bar, our animation slider, and we can set that curtain to any any instance that we like along the way that we're happy with. And let's add a modifier to that. Let's go and add a shell and half half a millimeter is okay for this scale. And then let's go and add a turbo smooth to give it a nice fluid transition okay that looks pretty good and I'll just zoom in on that entire screen so you can see it really gives us a nice realistic effect of the curtain draping over um, over the, the curtain rail above okay so we might leave it at that for this tutorial and I'm going to show you another way how to draw a curtain in our, in our next tutorial Okay, I hope you can make some use of that and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next tutorial.